Welcome to Real Estate 101. I'm Amy Hartwig. Throughout this series, I will be digging into various real estate topics designed to help you better understand the buying and selling process. In doing so, I'll be enlisting the help of industry experts to give you better insight. Let's get down to business. Hi everyone, Amy Hartwig here with Real Estate 101, and today we're talking with Jeanette Timms of Western Title and Escrow here in Eugene, and we're gonna be talking a little bit about the escrow process, what it looks like, and what you can expect as you move through that process. So let's get started. Jeanette, what is escrow specifically? Escrow specifically. Escrow is the process of a neutral third party receiving instructions from all parties and making sure that all the terms of a transaction are met. And why is it important to have an escrow process? It's important to have an escrow process to make sure that you and the seller are making reaching the same terms, that you're on the same page, that there's someone that isn't necessarily one-sided, making sure that the steps and agreements are met before the buyer takes ownership of the property. And that's why it's important to have a neutral person doing all that. Exactly. Okay, so as you move through the escrow process, one of the things that'll come up is title insurance. What is title insurance? So title insurance is really important for a buyer, um, and buyer's lenders also require title insurance. But it's basically ensuring a future homeowner buyer that the property they're about to receive has no prior issues, judgments, liens of any previous homeowners. So it essentially protects you that you have this property, that you're receiving it without prior issues. And for a lender, it ensures them that they're gonna be comfortable lending money against the home. Okay, and as we move through that escrow process, what can people expect along the way? There's a couple of different things that you can expect. The first thing is once a, si a seller and a buyer have reached an agreement, we're going to receive the sales agreement in. So we're going to open an order or an escrow file on, on our end that indicates sales price, what your tentative closing date is. We're going to make sure we're going to open it up, making sure we know everything that's expected per the sales agreement. After it's opened, um, what you can expect is I'm going to give you a call, introduce myself, and make sure you know who your escrow contact is. Um, and in the meantime, what's gonna be happening on the title side of things is that our title department is going to start their process of researching the property. They're gonna be checking county records to see what items or issues might be recorded against the property. So they're gonna see if there's any outstanding mortgages. They're gonna see if there's judgments, liens, if there's any easement issues. <clears throat> Once title's done with their research of the property, what's produced is called a preliminary title report. Um, so that's the next thing that you're gonna hear from me is we're gonna email you or mail you, whatever your preference is, the preliminary title report for your review. We wanna make sure you know if there's an easement on the property. We wanna make sure you know if there's a right of way. We want to make sure you know the property that you are purchasing. So we're gonna issue that to you for your review and approval. This is, these are all things that are there to protect you and to ensure that you are getting a property that is free and clear of any issues. Correct. Or if there might be something recorded against the property that you're not allowed to have a trailer parked in front of your house. We want to make sure that you know the rules of the area where the home is that you're going to be purchasing. We want you to be aware of all those items. So that's what you're going to be receiving from us, the research of the property. One of the things I also do as an escrow officer or as the escrow company is we receive all the money in on the transaction. So all the buyer's funds to close, all the loan funds. And when the transaction is finally complete, then I disperse those funds out. So the buyer and the seller aren't having to exchange money outside of escrow. I do that and I only exchange the funds once all the terms of the sales agreement have been met. And that's a really important time to bring up wire fraud. This is very prevalent in this whole process and she has some tips to help you through that becoming a victim. Exactly, Amy. Wire fraud is a huge problem right now in the real estate industry. Um, buyers are the number one targets. So never follow just an email or phone call that comes in telling you to wire money. If you're close in the area of where your escrow is being handled, take a cashier's check-in. Um, rather than wiring. But if, the, if you need to wire, the main thing is call your escrow company to confirm their wire instructions. You need to be the one to make the call directly to them so you know you're talking to the correct people. Fraudsters are really, um, they're getting tricky. 
they're smart. They've figured out how to get money from people and they're very good at what they do. So the main thing I can say is just be extra cautious. If someone's calling you or someone's emailing you trying to tell you to wire money, stop, maybe listen, let them finish, but then I would take the initiative to call me directly, the escrow company directly, and to confirm those wire instructions. We have extra precautions in place, which I'm not gonna go into details because I don't wanna give these fraudsters more tips right. <laughs> on what we do to protect you. But when I call you with the beginning of the transaction to introduce myself, we'll also talk directly about wire fraud and what you can expect from me. Perfect. All right, thanks, Jeanette. You're welcome.